you knock. Oh shit! Ah, uh, whoa! Hey! Oh, whoa! I don't know what happened there. I was clearly hacked. Viva Card Volume Four. New information. Shout out to Artur, Library of O'Hara. Um, ignore everything you just saw earlier. I don't know what happened. That's crazy. We're here for a new Viva Card data book. This is the fourth volume. Um, let's kind of hop right into it. We're doing what? Uh, this says what? Impel down. I don't think we're doing Impel down, are we? Isn't this like? Whitebeard shit. I don't know. Um, we're doing Logtown. It says here. It says Logtown all along and Impel down. I think that's wrong though. But um, let's hop right in. Yeah. See, I ain't posing with the potion unless I wanna take a sip. Yeah, I'm pimp. Make up on my back, but do not call me slick. So emotional. You got the ages here. Marco's 45, Joe Zeus 42, Vista's 47. I thought Vista was younger. I don't know why. I did though. Fuck Squar. I don't like Squar. Sorry, I don't like him. No, he he ugly. He ugly. He stabbed he stabbed my my dad, so I don't fuck with that. Little Orange Jr. He's a giant, so 72 is young for him. Um uh, Margarite. Marguerite, um she's younger than I thought she was. I mean, I thought she was older. Sana Sonia Marigold, younger than Boa. Uh Dadan. Shout out to you. I like you. I always like the Don. Curly the Don, the real, the realest bandit out. Laboon, best whale. Igram's old. Yo, Karu was a lucky ducky. I don't know if you guys ever watched the four kids uh Wood Peach, but that line always made me laugh. And like Desert Doo Doo. <laughs> the whole squad is here though. Like I don't know how old this is in duck, year, duck years, but they out here. Uh Evan X, Stomp, Cowboy, Bourbon, Kentados, Hikoichi, Dalton. Yo, Dalton, my boy. 35, so he's finally financially stable. Shout out to um, Drum Island. Chess, Black Man. Yo, rest in peace, Hideyuk. God damn, rest in peace, man. What a legend. What a king. What a, an actual king, Cobra. Pell's actually dead. I don't know if you guys knew this. He confirmed. He's not alive. He blew up. Uh, Chaka. Uh, this is dope. Kuro Marimo. Does this mean, like, Black Moss? I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't ever remember knowing this guy's name. But cool. Um, you suck, though. Got the heights. Got the height charts here. <laughs> Yo, when, when, when characters are so big that they're cut off, I always laugh. Like, where is the rest of my man's head? Where is Whitebeard? Why, I got two, I got one, two, three, four abs and some leg. Like, where the rest, where the rest of him at? And if this, if this in the side here is supposed to be like oars is like toe or foot, that's freaking hilarious. He's so big, it's like just some green shit in the side. Oh my god. One Piece characters are humongous. Look how big this guy is. Holy, we know why he was big. Josie was a, I think Josie was only a little bit shorter than Katakuri. I think Katakuri is 16, 16, um, like 16 and 8, 16.8, I think, something like that. And, uh, I can't remember though. Um, Senator Sonia and Marigold always tall. They're way taller than Boa. I wonder if that's fruit related, because she's not that big. And, she, and she's older than them, but they're like just big and snake like and whatever the case may be. Curly the Don, hey! She's 7'3. Anyone here? Let me know if anyone here is your height. I'm looking for my height. Um, Black Man is an inch taller than me, and Cobra's an inch shorter than me. Yo, Steli. Steli's taller than I thought he would be. Vivi! It's like a regular height for like a girl and stuff, but that's cool. Alright, let's keep going. We can move in. Bounties. I hate when it, I hate I hate this. Like this is this is useless to me. Did you know Whitebeard, Marco, Josie, and Vista have bounties? <gasps> like, yes, I fucking knew that. They're all black. Are you serious? Like, come on. We have six new bounty reveals. We have Curly the Dan. Yo, we don't. I don't care. You don't mess with Higuma. Curly the Dan is the only bandit that I fuck with. Jinbei's bounty is higher than. Wait, higher than Sanji? Then Zoro. Okay? Respect the hierarchy. Luffy. Jinbei, Sanji, Zoro. I like his bounty. This feels appropriate to me. Squarge bounty is lower than I expect, but I don't fuck with him, so fuck you. Lenore Jr. Not bad. Not bad. I like that. So this is this I found interesting. So Boa Sanderson on board Marigold. Now, this is why I found interesting. I know Shijibukai gets pardoned from the world government and their bounty get frozen. I for some reason only assumed that was directed at the Shichibukai themselves. Does this mean that the pirate crew in general, so everybody included, gets a pass and a pardon? So for Dofi, does that mean Pika and Treble and whatever, their bounties are also frozen? 
or this because that's like her literal sisters. So this is an interesting thing to think about. I'm, I'm trying to wonder if I already knew this or not. If someone in the comment section with, with knows, let me know. But um, yeah, this is interesting. Here are some birthdays. Let me know if uh, any of these characters... Yo, yo, Panda Sharks, Kumate, Kumate Tribe. I remember these guys, funny. Uh, let me know if anybody here shares a birthday with you. Just let me know. Um, no one here has my birthday. Uh, when's Black Man born? Nah, see, yeah, not my birthday. Um, yeah, cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, Seas of Origin, Origins, or Olsen's Origin. Uh, so Vista's from North Blue. Who else do I care about? So you're from West Blue. Here you, we knew that already, I think, based off its backstory, running around, being an ape. Um, I, for the love of God, for, for the love of God, like, I cannot remember some of Whitebeard's commander's names. I'm, I'm drawing huge blanks. Uh, but yeah, a lot of them from the Grand Line. So is, um, Lenore Jr., Marco, Squad, Crocus, I guess, cool. Um, uh, yeah, we know we, we could assume that you were from Wano. I, I assume most fishermen come from the Yuko Kingdom Fisherman Island. He's not in the same bracket with these guys, so maybe he was raised elsewhere. That's, that's kind of cool. I like that. These are all obvious. Like, the women are from Amazon Lily. Um, I'm not surprised these guys are all born and raised in Drum Kingdom, and same with the Alabasta stuff. Like, this all makes sense. Nefertari family is obviously going to be born in, in Alabasta. Favorite foods? What? Ace? Huh? But Jolokia Pepperosino, is that, is that, is that like, um, Italian or something? Sounds Italian. Jinbei eating mozu, drinking mozu vinegar and fruits. This sounds healthy, so you're kind of chunky for someone who eats this healthy, but, well, 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 blame it on your anatomy as a fishman and what you're, like, related to as a fish. White bread, cheap sake food, I fuck with it. Squad, cheese, mid. Uh, come on, Marco. <laughs> Vista, fried potatoes with rosemary. Jozu. I like this. Uh, Josu, flying fish, kazuke. I don't wonder. That sounds. That sounds good. I don't know what that is. Little Orange Jr. is eating little tiny onigiri. I know, maybe he's eating really big onigiri, but okay, cool. Uh, Margarita is eating gyoza. I like gyoza. Curling data. Beef meat. That's what I'm talking about. Hancock, boa Hancock, the Empress, a queen. Hot pot. I like this. Young Sabo's eating ramen. This just. This just strikes me as like. A funny little tidbit just because I know the voice actor for Young Sabo is um, the seiyuu for Naruto. I'm drawing a blank right now. I can't remember her name. But, you know, ramen is Naruto's favorite meal. So that's cool. Uh, yeah. Senator Sonia likes um, Xiao Long Bao. This is, this is a, um, I believe this is a Chinese type of dessert or something. Um, I know, like, because, like, their whole motif and like stuff is like drenched in a little bit of Chinese culture so it doesn't surprise me I don't, I don't I think hot pot might have originated there but don't do not quote me on that I'm not a historian Laboon giant squid this makes sense he's a big ass whale Marigold King uh, Sea King Kakuni don't know what that is but I'm I'm, I'm gonna guess it's in the same line as these as these things and <laughs> Crocus is getting a giant uh, squid meat shared with Laboon I like that, that that's kind of that's cute it's like yo like I, I gotta try a squid like you want some like Crocus like yeah sure I'll fry it up baby um Vivi curry pudding and I'm not even gonna try to say what that is if you know what it is just let me know <laughs> we don't we knew this about Waffle I think I remember seeing this somewhere I, I feel like I saw it somewhere but I know they to eat a bunch of random shit because of its ability Baked house well made. Only the finest of wood, the finest of bricks, the finest of minerals. <laughs> He's not eating no run down shack. <laughs> I love I love Wapo. He's funny. Igaram. Chiwuka. I don't know what that is. A Chikua. Dalton eating chestnut rice. That's delicious. I've had it before. Karoo's like, yo, water out. And a little bit of balti. I respect that. Uh, luxurious desserts for chess. Von X eating cactus, desert stuff, alabasta. I'm with it. Uh, Kudo Marimo is drinking alcohol in the middle of the day. That's racist. I'm joking. <laughs> I do too, though. That's me. You're, you're copying my gimmick. Um, Stomp. Pop. Soda. Carbonated drinks. Kureha. Alcohol. Salted plum. I'm with alcohol. This is the baddest chick in One Piece. Name me anybody 140 years old plus... That looks that good. And there it is. You lose. Cowboy. Hibiscus tea. <laughs> you do you. Pickle radish. Yo, bourbon's drinking bur- Yo! Are you, not, are you old enough in duck years to be drinking? I'm telling the police. Cobra. Canafe. What, what is that? That sounds cool. Kentaurados. Malabia. Alabia. Um, 
Chaka Banana. Bananas are the worst. Uh, Koshari, I don't know what that is. Onigiri for you. Hikoichi and Pell is dead. He's not alive. So, these are the blood types if you care. Um, yeah. I, I don't think I do, so I'm gonna keep going. And these are the confirmed canning spelling for the names now, I suppose. So, Steri, Nefel, Tari, Karu, and Hiri Look. So that's how you spell it now. Because, like, kid is supposed to have 1D. I still, I don't know. I don't really care like that. Like, I still spell it with 2D. Like, I know for, like, some of Katakuri's attacks, I don't like how they, they the Viz says it. So I'll still say, like, blocked mochi or whatever. But it's fine. So the part that everyone actually cares about, let's hop right in. Shirohige. Edward Newgate. My dad. Oyeji. Was born in Sphinx Island in the New World. We see this. We've seen, we've seen this island in this hometown. Excuse me, he became an orphan at a young age due to the state of the country ending in chaos as he could not afford to be protected by the world government. Sorry, I have the hiccups. This is all in line with what we saw in 909 um, and what Marco was saying. Whitebeard attained the title of the strongest in the world well before the great um, age of pirates. He had immense power and an ability to destroy the world. I like this because I think this makes sense. I feel like a lot of people are going to see this and be like, but Roger... Um, Roger's a pirate king. Roger was probably stronger than Whitebeard. I think he was stronger than Whitebeard. But the thing about it is, the title of strongest man in the world does not mean the most powerful in total. In the total, like strongest can be taken in a number of ways. Like that could just be physicality. But I think like 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 Arthur kind of um put in his parentheses here. It's more it's like his epithet and like. He has the ability to destroy the world and really rule the seas with the girl girl no me because of how powerful it is. So you gotta kind of take that within the right context. Don't be, don't have the nerd knee jerk reaction. And be like, but Roger was stronger. Don't do, don't be that person. Think, use your brain. This makes sense. However, he always had the rule to never lay a hand on the thing his enemies valued most, a treasure, for he understood the value of one's treasure. Well, that's not very part like, but. I respect it. He ever since he was an orphan at a young age, he realized that treasure was more than something more valuable than gold. For him, treasure is freedom to rule the seas and love his family, especially considering he never had one. Um, yeah, this is all in line with like become my son, put my tattoo on your back, they call him Oya G Pops. His crew was his family. It's you know, it's not really like a a lot of crews have a captain and subordinates. His is a family. Luffy's a, Luffy, you could say that his friend, but those, those are his friends, so like, I like that. So this is all the line, this, this is like information we already really knew though, but uh, he set out to sea when he was a young man, still a young man, sailing as a pirate with other crews. Some years before he founded the Whitebeard Pirates, he joined a certain group of pirates. That's gotta be rocks. Um... This also lines up with what we know with Bakken and Weevil. Weevil is supposed to be Whitebeard's son, apparently. So this is, yo, the fact that every Yonko was probably like a part of Rocks, maybe except Shanks. We gotta, we gotta put some respect on Garp. Like, <sighs> the Garp disrespect is crazy to me. Um, it's only later in his life, but before forming this crew, that it became to be known by the name of White Stash. Because he got no beard. <laughs> Confirmed our main automation and conquerors user. We knew this already. My boy Marco the Phoenix. I'm a very I'm, I'm a huge Marco fan. I like Marco a lot. So Marco is the commander of the first division and was Whitebeard's right hand man. Who Edward who Newgate I, I, I added that Edward Edward Newgate deeply trusted. It's unknown what the first division is about, though later information suggests it might be navigation or possibly medical. As we see him as a doctor, we don't know. He's a veteran of the crew. He was born somewhere in the Grand Line, 45 years ago. As a child, he's seen drawing sea charts. It's interesting, and has as he had a big passion for navigation. He's always been knowledgeable since he was a kid, so he's been able to support his crew the crew with more than just battle and power providing knowledge and insight um so that's interesting to me because i don't know about you guys right marco being a doctor isn't nonsensical to me i don't know if he's legitimately a doctor according to this he's very knowledgeable so maybe he has medical expertise i'm not going to downplay that i don't I, I based on what i can tell i don't think he's a doctor in the same vein as law or, or, or Kureha, or Chopper. It's more so that because of his ability and how it allows him to heal people, he can kind of do that, if you get, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so I find that interesting. Because to me, it comes off more like he's like Nami, the navigator. 
more so than the doctor. And if you really think about it, when Whitebeard was introduced, not to say that Marco wasn't tending to his health, there was nurses that had like IV um, drips and stuff hooked up to him. It wasn't Marco doing it. So that's interesting. Um, I hope we get that fleshed out more later on. Sorry for the tangent. Uh, let's get back to it. Um, because of his nice and welcoming personality, he's beloved amongst members of the crew. He's a nice guy. Yes, we have the name now. Totally, totally know me. Model Phoenix, Bird Bird Fruit. Model Phoenix. Um, I'm Mr. Gozoin. With his flames of resurrection, he can quickly regenerate wounds. His wounds as those of others. When applied to him, it seems that his regeneration has no limit. Based on what we've seen, this lines up. Because the only time he sustained damage that he could not heal was when he got hit with the lasers after the uh, Kaido Seki handcuffs were put on him. After the payback war, he vows to protect Whitebeard's homeland as he knew it was his treasure. He has arm and observation and he really likes pineapples, which is trash. <laughs> Come on. Wait, Aso is the Portagas de Aso. Rest in peace. Your fire lives on. Um, Ace was the commander of the 2nd Division, though the purpose of that division isn't specified. Ace always questioned if he... We know this already. This is... However, with the love of his brother... I hate some of this... Some of this info is redundant. Sorry. I, just, I don't... I don't... Yes, we know this. He doesn't run away when it comes to protecting others like his father. We know that. We know he has conquerors. We've, see, we, we've seen him use conquerors. <laughs> Why do you have to... We've literally seen it as a child. Come on. Though his arm and observation isn't specified, yeah, the Ace the Ace Light Novel um, said that he had it. I haven't gotten a chance to read a proper full, I guess, fan translation of the novel, but um, Sadman AP, uh, underscore AP, uh, follow him or check him out if you have it. He had been translating the Light Novels, and yes, that was in there. He was talking about, you know, him having armor hockey and stuff, so that's, I think, he, I, I, I assume he has it. Jozu is the commander of the third division Diamanda Josu and is uh responsible for leading the vanguard uh, ad and carving sorry that threw me off uh carving o an open path in battle essentially being a fighting division in charge of the vanguard thanks to his power he can shield his crew from the front considered being considered the diamond shield that protects him i like this because i like that every division has their own spe specified like you know, navigation, this and that, or the other. But Jozu division kind of reminds me of, I think it was the 11th squad in Bleach, the Gote 13, which is Kenpachis, and they're like, they're like the meatheads, the combat. So, that's cool. I like that. We have his name, Glorigan the Fruit, Kira Kira no Mi. Um, making him a diamond human with unparalleled toughness. Despite this, he's actually incredibly quick and agile. We've seen this, we making him both nimble, a combo that is devastating for his opponents. He knows a bunch of wrestling fighting moves as well, such as tackles and suplexes. He also has an insane muscle and grip strength, lifting a block of ice like it's nothing. Stop it if you can. He launched that shit. Uh, if he can make, like, a diamond arm, I would be. I would love to see him do some fucking, like, DDTs, Kaniku Busters, you know what I'm saying? Like, F5, F5 bombs and stuff. Like, I... I would like to see a One Piece character who's like a legit wrestler be using wrestling moves. I would love to see that. So I hope we get that in the future some, uh, some, sometime on the line. Despite that, he is really silent, or rather silent outside the battle. And his subordinates follow suit. Strong silent type. I can respect that. He was born in West Blue 42 years ago as a rather poor person. During his childhood, he was forced to steal due to a situation, but because of his unparalleled agility, he never got caught. He was like, give me them, give me them fruits, like, weaving, bobbing and weaving, you can't catch me, spinning off them, stiff arm. Confirmed arm and observation, we don't know about conquerors, and his status is, is not uh, specified, so we don't know if he's dead or not, but I think he's alive. Vista, I really like Vista. Vista's probably my favorite after Marco. Um, Vista is the commander of the 5th Division, the Division of Swordsmen. Okay, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Okay, he is an incredibly skilled swordman among the best, amongst the best in the world. The card says literally top class. Yo, yo, let's go. Being able to compete against Mihawk. Facts. Um, my two cents on that because I know there's some debate on this. Uh, Vista would have given Mihawk a real fight, a fight for his money. That was not, there's no way in hell Mihawk could have beaten Vista easily. From what, I, from what I can tell. 
because he had to talk Miss Mister Jesus. I'm thinking about JoJo talking. He had to talk Vista out of fighting him. People try to say that like because Mihawk was thinking about Luffy running away and stuff, he wasn't really in it. But um, he couldn't brush him off. He had to talk him out of fighting him. As a swordsman, if someone challenges you to a swordsman, you need to. I feel like you're obligated to see that to the end. And the fact that he didn't, to me, it's not to say Miyak was going to lose. He wasn't. I don't think he was going to lose. But it's just a, a testament that he had something else he wanted to do. And he knew fighting Vista would have taken long enough that he wasn't going to be able to do it. So respect Vista for that. Uh, sorry for the tangent again. Uh, I'm, I never stay on topic. Al alongside Marco and the others, by others I assume he's Ace, Jozu, and stuff, and Va Thatch. He's one of the most important members of the crew. He's the oldest of them, being 47 years old. Epithet, Flower Sword Vista, uh, ref refers to the name of his swords, Kaken. He has been practicing swordsmanship very hard since he was young. Back even when he used a wooden, wooden sword to train, he was already interested in wielding a saber. He's got very proficient art in hockey, being able to coat his swords into black blades just like Mihawk taught Zoro. <gasps> Excuse me, it's despite Mihawk insane power, Vista wasn't the least bit afraid about rushing in to confront him. I like that. He has observation in um and and uh and uh, armament you know about um conquerors. Oh thank God these guys are here because I really could not remember some of these guys' names. I remember Izo. It was Haruta. I'm thinking I thought it was Maruta. Okay, so Blamenko is the sixth of the Vision uh, commander. We've seen him extract items out of his pockets, similar to beige fruit, making him making us think it's a paramecia, but his card doesn't elaborate. Rakuyo. This upstanding plaster Rokuyo, the commander of the 7th Division, and his chain chomp like flail. If it has a devil fruit or simply looks like that, I guess we don't know yet. So, I guess they didn't flesh out some of the other commanders too much. I'm not sure why. If we, but it is what it is. Um, Haruta is the 12th Division commander, is a man, though we knew this already because Oda did. Yeah, Oda said that all of his com commanders were male. So, Izo is from Wano, um, is a cross dresser. And is confirmed to be male. So with this, I think you shouldn't confuse him with Okama because I, in the in the context of the story, an Okama and a cross dresser is not the same thing. Um, I don't know if Izo identifies as male, but from what it says, he just, he just dresses like a girl. But I don't think he. But he's still a man, I guess. Where like the Okama have kind of transcended gender based on um, certain translations. They're not, you know. Whatever you think it is. I'm skipping school out because I don't like him. And this is not interesting. Little Lars Jr. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, we saw his bounty already. And we have the name of his ship. Wow. That was interesting. Fucking loser. L Little Lars Jr., just like Oars, is part of a race known as the Ancient Giants. A giant of demon-like appearance and colossal... And a colossal six around four times that of a normal of normal giant. He's, a, he's 38 uh, meters tall. So his card hits out of demonic lineage, but it isn't clear if that just refers to the way it looks or something more behind it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I think there's more to it. Something is making them bigger than the average giant, making them ancient giant. The reason there, there's more to it than just like they look weird. I think there's more to their lineage. He had a strong bond with Ace as he gave him a hat. He learned to make in Wano thanks to Otama and the Amigasa village. I really, really like this touch. Just be like it's one of those things where it's like I don't need you to confirm things like this because I can put two and two together. But I just like that the book decided to add that it was Otama and the people who used the bamboo to make bamboo straw hats, whatever the case may be, and Amigasa Village that taught him to do that. It, it, just because it all lines up. He's the captain of the Little Pirates. That's such an elite name for his crew because this nigga is huge as fuck. <laughs> he himself has a staggering um. Uh, 550 million bount bear bounty. The name of a ship is Little Jirase? Jirais? I don't know what that says. I'm sorry. Uh, status is not addressed, so I, I don't think he's dead, but he lost a leg. He lost a leg, arm. I don't remember, but he, he lost something. Jimbo. Jimbe. Erde. <sighs> this is, yo, I, 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 I love Jimbe Stan. I love Jimbe. Jimbe is the official. Is officially the 10th member of the Straw Hat Pirates, the helmsman of the crew. His card is 10, leaving three more spots for Straw Hats after him. At Whole Cake Island, he joined the Straw Hats. And as of the tea party, he's officially a crewmate. I don't know. Some people needed this clarification. I didn't. This was kind of obvious if you just pay attention. Like I said with the other thing, like with, even with the, like the A stuff with the Amicasa Village, you just pay attention. This stuff was obvious. You don't, I feel like a lot of people... 
always needs something to be explicitly stated in like in text or whatever the case might be to be like, oh yeah, it was like you. I I believe in the co reading comprehension of most of you. You could put two and two together. He's been an official straw hat. What, what was the last thing Luffy said to him? Who's his captain? He's a part of the crew. Like, come on. All right. So he's so um his current yo his bounty is the second highest in the crew after Luffy. But let me just make sure you guys understand the hierarchy. It goes Luffy, Jinbei, Sanji, then Zoro. <laughs> Um, his previous bounties uh, before it was become a sheep request. He was at uh, two hundred fifty million. Um, then before that it was only at uh, seventy six. That's that's cool. So we have to see um his growth from when he was under Fisher Tiger to him being you know the head of the fish the Fishman Pirates Sun Pirates and then um him being part of Luffy's crew or under Big Mom and stuff. I'm trying to wonder if. His bounty went up because he quit or because he went under Big Mom. Because I think the SBS said that a lot of um, the Yonko top brass commanders, sweet commanders, calamities, all stars, whatever you want to call them, Titanic captains, have such high bounties because of their um, their captain kind of thing. So that's interesting. That's cool. Not that, but don't downplay like like Katakuri or you know and their and their bounty just because they're they're still very very capable. So originally Oda thought of making Jinbei an antagonist. I kind of felt that. I feel that. I feel this. Um, the one pulling the strings behind Arlong, but he abandoned the idea. In fact, Jinbei deeply blames himself for what Arlong has become. Jinbei is incredibly powerful when it comes to Fishman Karate as he's able to easily push away a Yonko like Big Mom with one punch, referring to yeah, 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 yeah. Kyojin Karate! <laughs> Shiratora Seiken! Yo, I fucking love Jinbei. He is so cool. We know we has armament. We've seen this. I, I Don't tell me this. I know. Ah! Vivi is uh, officially is considered a former straw hat. Again, pretty obvious. She occupies something in the cars, blah, 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 okay. The Viva card strongly emphasizes she was a crewmate. She gets along very well with her citizens. She's off, She's actually often interacted with them ever since she was a little girl. Vivi exaggerated her personality as Miss Wednesday, clearly, so that she built a good relation with Mr. Nine. Um, along, among the other characters of Alabaster, her favorite food is an Egyptian dish. Okay. And that is the cultural inspiration of Alabaster. All right, I like that. Yo, Karu! Karu isn't marked as a crew member, rather he's worth the Vivi's pet. Karu is 16 years old. Normally, ducks only last a few a few uh, years, so I assume his species is a bit different. Hmm. Damn, I wish this I wish this section was way bigger because I I got so much love for Boa Hancock, and I hate how some people view her. But all right, let's talk about this. So Hancock is the Empress of Amazon Lily, which is why she's called the Pirate Empress. <laughs> Thank oh how wow thank you for that the ship that Hancock and the Kuja pirates sail on is called the Perfume Snake. Hancock herself possesses Conqueror's arm and observation hockey. Boa, Marigold, and Sandersonia both have observation and arm and hockey. They also both have a bounty of four hundred million berry belly blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Wait, though they are frozen like Hancock's. Due to her status. Okay, so I guess this means... But, 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 but I still want to know if this extends to the rest of the Kuja pirates and stuff, though. Hmm. Sander Sonia is one year longer. This is not interesting, love, man. Come on. As you might have noticed in the favorite food section, all their favorite food is Chinese. Ah, see, I, I, I got that. Nice, I got that. Um, This is not... I, I, I want more. I wanted more stuff. But I really, 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 really hope Oda gives her a proper showcase later on in the manga. Because I think that she is so fucking dope. As far as I'm concerned, after Big Mom, the strongest woman in the world is Boa Hancock. No, it's not Smoothie. Fuck Smoothie. Ah, oh, Marguerite. As mentioned in Pure Data Books, she's supposed to have Neko Neko no Mi. She has Arvin Hockey. Yeah, most Kuja Warriors have that. We know that. Um, Crocus has at least observation. He joined the, the Roger Pirates 28 years ago when Roger first entered the Grand Line, 24 years after the Rumbar Pirates first passed by. Okay. With the Roger Pirates, he did, and he yo he ripped the raft out. Yes, yes, yes. He's been the protector of the Twin Case for over half a century. Raw, Laboon confirmed his mail when Laboon first met the Rumber Pirates. He was one years old. 
in terms of width compared to Tail Laboon is 400 meter long, 0 0.5 miles. Oh, holy shit, he's big. Steli, the king of the royal prince of Goa, died under very mysterious. <laughs> the Viva card basically implies Steli kingdom, but the <coughs> excuse me, the story literally told us that too. So a lot of this information is extremely redundant. Steli is aware of Garp having some connection with the Celestial Dragons. Hmm. Do you want to, So you want to be a scumbag? All right. So that's all we have for now. As we cover Fishman Island Arc. Okay. So listen, Earth Artur. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you, brother. Is this man right here? She's right here, Crocodile. I need the longest, biggest, most detailed information section about Croc. I want to know which way this nigga sneezes. I want to know his favorite type of cigar. I want to know where his scar came from. I want to know when he lost. I want to know everything about Crocodile. I need all the details. This is the greatest character in One Piece. Mr. Zero. The president of Baroque's work. Sir Crocodile. Okay? That's what I need from you. Um, if you guys made, to, made it to the end, thank you guys for watching me cover this. Um, shout out to you again, Arthur. You're doing God's work with this shit, bro. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, but thank you. Uh, thank you guys for listening. I'm going to be out. You're... I'm just by myself. I'm just by myself. Phantom of the South sitting in a different realm. I don't like these rainy skies because I'm not one to dwell. I'm just sitting in my sadness like a cry for